Charlene, sometimes we forget that we're a really hot tourist destination. And for anyone visiting, they probably think this is beautiful weather. But for <laughs> us local San Diegans, it's a little bit humid than what we're used to. This is true. And that's been the case as over the past couple of days, Marcella. But we're going to dry out and also cool off as we go into our forecast all the way into the 4th of July. So, yeah, we've been dealing with that added monsoonal moisture. That's going to be cut off as we hit the forecast for the rest of the week. Trough of low pressure is going to change those things up in our forecast. But we still have that sunshine. It's still going strong as we take a look at current conditions across the board. You're seeing nothing but sunshine and temperatures that are in the 70s right now for downtown Oceanside and also for Chula Vista. You have the 80s currently 85 degrees for Poway and Escondido is at 84. So as I mentioned, we're going to cut off that monsoonal moisture and that's where the trough of low pressure is going to establish itself right over the west. It's already starting to. And so that's going to push that area of high pressure more so towards the east. You're seeing scattered showers and even a few isolated thunderstorms popping up across Arizona. Scattered showers across the four corners with that area of high pressure just tapping into that moisture from the Gulf. Now in this trough of low pressure is changing up our forecast because it's going to deepen the marine layer bringing in the low clouds right along the coast. Also talking about some patchy fog across inland regions and that's going to be on repeat all the way into Monday helping to bring temperatures down as well as we have that cool return. So 75 degrees will be the high for tomorrow at the coast. So no major changes are expected at least through the next couple of days. It's a gradual process and then by the weekend, especially the second half of it, we're starting to go below seasonal when it comes to temperatures and that's not just going to be west of the mountains. We're talking county wide. So we're going from about 111 as a high today for the desert to 106 by tomorrow. You're getting out of those widespread 90s across inland areas back into the 80s before we have the return of 70s and that's going to be by next week. So it's hardening off the day with that marine layer. Keep that in mind and then everything clearing out as we get the afternoon hours going. So for tomorrow, your surf forecast will have the surf up to about four feet. Also talking about a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. That UV index is still in the extreme range and it's going to stick around as we go all the way into next week. By the afternoon hours, dealing with the sunshine, seeing the cloud cover in the morning and then also helping to bring temperatures down. You're going from remember we had a heat advisory yesterday. We were talking 95 to 100 degrees when it came to our temperatures across inland regions. We're getting back into the upper 70s. That's going to be on Sunday as well as Monday for the 4th of July. So no, not too hot out there for any of your festivities. And then we will have the return of some warmer temperatures by uh, next week. You're looking at the 80s going strong, but getting right back into those low 80s across the mountains. Triple digit heat that looks to be in the desert, but it's going to go a little bit lower than normal. And that's going to be by Monday on the 4th of July. Let's go ahead and take a look at your weather quiz question for tonight. Thank you, Mitch. Oh, Thank look how you, nice Shawnee. and beautiful that font is. Yes, because we cannot read the tiny one. Uh, the email exchange was great. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Super typhoons are tropical cyclones in the western North Pacific with sustained wind speeds exceeding what? Is it A, 120 miles per hour, B, 130 miles per hour, C, 140 miles per hour, yes, I put this in order for you, Marcella, Thank you. or D, 150 miles per hour? If you think you know the answer, just head to our website, cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your guess. Hey. I put it in order, but I didn't make it an easy one. And no, it's not A. You can win one of four family four packs of tickets for a day of unlimited fun at Belmont Park. C. This is it is not C either. Oh. <laughs> this is San Diego's only oh. beachfront amusement park. Come on, Carlo, you got more. D. D. What would you say? D. D. Hmm. She's not <laughs> saying no, <laughs> folks. Oh, look at okay, the freebie. This prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. You get new weather quiz questions every Monday through Friday during this newscast at our 7 a.m. But I don't need to say good luck. I just gave you the answer. There you go. We're better than Google. We're generous. <laughs>